All right, what's up guys, how's it going? Welcome back. So today we're gonna do something pretty exciting. Uh, I have another uh, YouTuber coming over today and we're gonna use the fuel injector tester. So he has a uh, LS swapped Fox Body Mustang, goes 10 one in the quarter mile at like 137 or something crazy like that. It's really fast, you probably recognize it from a previous video. flying so he ended up a couple weeks after that I think it was a week after I raced him or he just slaughtered me we went down the track together that's what it was he did some things added a little bit of timing and then blew up one of the pistons melted one of the pistons so today there's kind of some controversy going on between him and some other people there's some question about the condition of the injectors because he's using decap fuel injectors and there's a possibility that one of the fuel injectors might be putting less fuel into it cylinder seven. And basically what we're gonna do today is try to find out if cylinder seven was actually low on fuel, leaned it out and melted the piston, or if it was timing related. So that's the goal. We're gonna check all the injectors. We'll see what happens. So I should clarify that the, the controversy I was describing was basically just a Facebook uh, conversation. Some were passing some judgment because the injectors were decapped, but they weren't actually flow matched and flow tested before he put him into the car and ran it. And it ran great until he made an adjustment and then he had some issues with it, which he knew he was kind of pushing the limits anyways. So today that's why we want to confirm it because we're both kind of leaning towards it wasn't really fuel injector related. So that's what we want to check. To flow or not to flow? Okay, Hunter Wave. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got the intake here from the Mustang. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this side off first and we're gonna test all of these injectors and we're gonna verify that that number seven injector is just fine. Or, real, or, it's, or it's real bad, who knows. It's <laughs> just fine or it's real bad. Yeah. So we're gonna do both sides. He also brought me a whole bunch of goodies here. So we're gonna fool all these things. Some are decapped, some are not. Which is actually kind of sweet because I wanted to do a comparison of decapped versus not decapped. So we have some flex fuel injectors also. So that'll be fun to play with. We're testing one, three, five, and seven. So this was the, the culprit that we were worried about. We thought that this one was gonna be bad. So this one, first time we turned it on, flowed just fine. This one here, number five, it decided that it was gonna be a little stubborn, but we eventually got it to flow when we did the, the pulse testing. This one was a little bit stubborn also, but we got it to go. And this guy right here doesn't even wanna play. So we got 50 PSI, and we can't even get it to do anything. It's not even turning on. So we'll probably play with that. Maybe it's just clogged, we'll see what we can do. But other than that, number seven's the all-star right now. Okay, so we did the first test. This was number five. Number seven, this is the 22nd pulse test, the same test that I was doing. This one ended up at 160. And this one is right around 165. So if we compare that, so if we compare that to all the other testing that I did, the 165s are actually the ones that I'm using. Uh, so they're very, very close to the two full sets that I did before. So I wouldn't really say that this one was incredibly lean to where it was gonna cause a problem. Okay, so when we were doing the test, we did find a dud. Here, it didn't work at all. So what we did, we activated it and I pushed it in with the tip of a pen and we cycled it a few times. Now we got it to run. So we're gonna test that one so we can finalize all eight of them. All right, so we got all of these done. We're still gonna test these later on, but he's gotta run. So he's gonna take this guy here and here's the result from all the testing. So we have one at 170, one at 155. That's your high to low. And the one we were concerned about was this number seven, which is basically right in the middle of the range. It's actually on the, a little bit of the high end of the range from 170 to 155. So as far as the controversy or the conflict that was going on about this cylinder being uh, lean or too lean because of the injectors not being flow matched is complete garbage. So I think we confirmed that with this test. Uh, number eight was actually more lean than number seven quite a bit more and that wasn't the problem it was this guy 
Have a nice day. Okay, so the results of the test, as I said before, 15 milliliters in 20 second period, that's the high to the low. So that's a 9.6% difference from the low to the high injector. And the 160 is only 10 milliliters lower than the highest. So it's actually on the higher end of the range of the injectors. That number seven cylinder injector that we were concerned about being low was actually on the high end. So that cylinder should have been more rich than the others if you're tuning for the middle of the range, if that makes sense. So basically the conclusion that we got from this test is the number seven cylinder was not lean or excessively lean that would have caused a failure. That's all I got for you guys today. Go check out Hunter's channel, Hunter Tuned. He does a lot of stuff. He's very well known in the Wisconsin area for uh, tuning, especially tuning Hondas. And his name always comes up when I'm reading forums and Facebook pages. If anybody's asking for a tuner, they're always looking for this guy. He's doing a lot of cool things. Things. So yeah, check out the channel. I'll put a link in the description. Hope you enjoy the video. As always, have a good one.